Hi, I'm Joanna Arno. I'm the director, writer, actor, editor of Bad at Dancing. And um, the film is about a perpetually awkward third wheel, Joanna, who inserts herself into the relationship of her more charismatic roommate, Isabel. And then the two women uh, increasingly test each other's emotional and sexual boundaries. And it's a dark comedy. And I play Isabel. I'm Eleanor Pianta. language? Did you have a good time so far in Berlin? Yeah, yeah. I've been taking uh, full advantage of all the um, the art scene here. So we've been, my boyfriend and I have been going to a bunch of galleries and uh, museums. Okay. So it's been it's been a, a great way to learn the city and see the city. Mm -hmm. So I've been enjoying myself. And did you also spend time at the festival so far? This, starting today. Starting today. Or I guess yesterday. I went to a to a screening. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been plotting them here and there, but today is kind of my real festival beginning. <laughs> this one's been you've been <laughs> festivaling, right? Yeah. No. And the movie will screen for the premiere on Tuesday, right? Yes. Are you excited? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cannot wait for everybody to see my body. <laughs> But you already had the previous screening, and um, well, I heard already that it was crowded, that there were a lot of people. How did it go? Was it a good experience? Um, the press screening? Yeah, we got a lot of uh, laughs, which I always like to hear. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it seemed like good feedback so far, so I'm mm -hmm. excited. What I was wondering about, when did you get the idea from for the movie? Because when I watched it, I was thinking, is this an experience they had themselves? Like, did they have a flatmate that was this way? Or, like, intruding into other people's lives? Where did the idea come from? Um, well, it was a, sort of a fictionalized composite of, based on several friendships I had. Um, but not on actual events, just more of inspired by them. Um, I was interested in, um, I'm, I'm friends with people often who are more natural leaders and outgoing, and I was sort of interested in the leader-follower dynamic and exploring the psychology of that. And then I'd also just acted in a short film with Eleanor a few months before, and she's so great that I wanted to work with her again, and I, I wrote the film with her in mind, actually. <laughs> and I was wondering about the relationship of the two women in the movie. I mean, Joanna and Eleanor, they are friends, but at the same time, it's, well, it's a friendship that is difficult, I would say, because Joanna wants to be with, with Eleanor's boyfriend, but at the same time, they are friends. Yeah, interrupt me if you... Oh, I was just going to say, the character's name is actually Isabel. Um, oh, there was um, a, there was a might have been an outdated version. <laughs> yeah, I think in the text it's, uh, I don't know, but okay. Oh, same but, difference. Okay, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they, but anyway, so. Sorry. <laughs> she wants to be together with the boyfriend, and at the same time they are friends. So it is quite a difficult relationship, isn't it? I mean, when they're living together. But they still try to maintain this, this friendship between them, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, and I saw it, it, for me, the relationship was very much about power. And so it seems like, you know, Joanna wants to be more like Isabel or wants that kind of, she sees in her, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my interpretation of it is that she sees, um, uh, I guess, as you said, a, a leader in certain ways, Isabel as a leader. Um, but I think also Isabel, the interesting dynamic between them for me is that Isabel, there's something that Joanna has that Isabel wants. And so there's, and I think that that's kind of the door that, or that's why she allows the door to remain open, both literally and figuratively. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. So, <laughs> so you know, so that um, she, 
Isabel, I feel like, harnesses that power, but then also within that power there's a vulnerability because she wants she wants Joanna's approval. She, she needs it in a way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> No. I don't know if that answered anything, but that's kind of how I saw their, their dynamic, their friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was, I think there's a lot of complexities in the dynamic that I wanted to bring out and like sort of the power play that you're talking about and like the jealousy and attraction and sort of dynamic of provocation and rejection. Like I wanted to show the fluidity of how those things all work together. And I think there's also a lot left unsaid that the characters aren't comfortable articulating. Um, and so I sort of wanted to bring out the tension between the what was left unsaid and the explicitly stated, too. Mm -hmm. But would you describe Joanna as a manipulating person? <laughs> um, well, that's interesting. That's I guess... That was my impression in a lot of scenes that she is really, that she is the one playing with the other people, that she mm. is the one having the strings in her hands, and that's why I got the feeling that she is manipulating them in a certain way. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think in the in this in a similar sense, it's I almost if if you read it that way, I want to be manipulated. If if you if you read it as manipulation, I think that there's an openness for her to have the strings. You know, there's something in Isabel that wants, that lets her have the strings, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think she does take advantage of that. Um, and I think Matt is the one that gets, is the most uncomfortable by it um, because he's not giving her the strings to manipulate. But by extension of me, he is manipulated. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, well, I wanted to, um leave it open to different interpretations and I think it's been really interesting because some people see the film and they align more with my character and then some people see the film and they align more with the couple and so I um, like I don't particularly see it that way necessarily but I, I really I didn't want to over explain too much in the film or like give too much about the characters motivations about why like I, my character starts walking in the room or why they let her stay. Um, I think that's nice, actually, that that, um, because I had a different reading of it too, but I think that in talking about the power dynamics and I think how we've talked about the script, um, there being a back and forth between that, it's kind of nice that there's different ways of reading it. Mm. And I think that definitely could be a part of it. Like, the end of the film, I. I saw a lot of like complex emotions sort of like leading up to it and like just the way it's going. Like I think it's sort of a lot of things and different motivations for all the characters. Mm. Conscious and subconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the style in which you shot it, I mean the slowness of it um, leaves the viewer open to, you know, I mean it, the slowness of it lets you kind of sink into it in a way that's not controlling, so you can kind of play with the subtleties of what's happening within each scene. Right. And the way you edited it. Yeah. Which is... And talking about the style, something I wondered about was, why did you shoot it in black and white? Well, I shot it in black and white because there's a lot of surreal and absurd elements of the narrative, and I wanted to immediately signal a separation in the layer of reality between what's every day and in the world of the film. And then, so because the film isn't naturalistic, I also wanted to um, avoid any casualness or ordinariness of the images, and the black and white look gives it a more cohesive and formal style. Mm -hmm. The movie is nominated for the Teddy Award, that's the queer film award here at the film festival. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the particular queerness of this movie? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's great. Um, I'm so excited to, that the film is uh, 
nominated for this award. Um, I hadn't written the film thinking of it as a queer film, but since it's been released, I'm so excited that it's been included in that category. Um, I do think it's a queer film. I see my character as being strongly attracted to both Matt and the Isabel character, and I think the push and pull between the two women is particularly strong. And um, I also think our culture very rigidly defines relationships, and that I wanted this film to complicate um, the, uh, I guess, conventions of traditional labels. And doing so, like I was talking about before, with um, showing the fluidity of like the traction and um, competition and jealousy and just all those dynamics working together in this strange, not quite threesome. Yeah, and it's not. I like not quite threesome. Not quite threesome. That's the <laughs> that's the queer of it. Yeah. The not quite threesome. Yeah. <laughs> The movie has not been screened in the United States yet, so far, as far as I know. What do you expect? How will it be perceived? Great question. <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully well. Um. Um. <laughs> yeah, I want everyone to love it. <laughs> um. I mean, people seem to be seeing the humor in it so far, so I'm, I'm excited by that. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a dark film, but it also has some humorous aspects, so. Well, and the, her, docu her documentary that she made, I Hate Myself, Smiley Face, um, that balance of, um, I don't know if it's really considered a comedy, um, but the humor that's in it is what attracted me to working with her, where it's, it's, it's working subtly, and, and that's the kind of humor that I'm interested in, the, the, the kind that's not trying to be funny, but just then is by um, the circumstance or how something is said, um, but that the scenario isn't necessarily funny. So yeah, I hope people pick up on that wherever it's screened, because I think that that's a strength. Thank you. That you have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview, and I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.